Okay, I honestly had way too much fun with Tiny Rogues the last episode, so we're here with another episode. Uh, this is a couple days later, but um, let's get it. So we had a pretty good run as the default hero character. I don't even know who that was. I think it's this guy. Yeah, this is the hero. So we now have a sorcerer. We have a ranger, pyromancer, mystic, knight, cleric, warrior, and wanderer. I'm just going to turn the game down a little bit. Okay, so we have a cleric who has... Re you are revived once per floor? That seems way too good. Your points of block are refreshed before entering a boss fight. You gain double the stats from charms and weapon enchantments. That seems really disgusting. Each point of mana additionally grants 10 to 20 fire damage. Okay, so Pyromancer just builds heavily into fire. Some of these seem really strong. Huh. Warrior just gets really fast attack speed, but it doesn't say it was any weapon, but it has five strength to start with. So you can see the decks here on the uh, Mystic. So Enchanter, I might go with this. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what double the stats even means. Uh, also, Mastery level. What's up with this stuff? So I have zero to three points spent. Oh, so we have a choice between these two. You start with one additional health flask or doubles your... Oh, this is just easy. Extra flask, please. Shops have a 30%, 35% chance to offer an additional item. I'd rather have just, like, reduced prices. Let's go with the luck on this direction here. Oh, actually, this is a cur this left to fate one's pretty nice too, but we're out of points. Are there something to do with the world level or something? So Brave the Unknown was level zero, or the first quest, I guess, which was just begin your adventure. And the next one was defeat death. I checked this afterwards. So I defeated death on my first run. I don't really know what that means, wh whether I won the run or not, but I guess we'll have to find out what these uh, later mean. But right now we're on defeat death with five different classes. So we're going to go with the mystic. We're going to do this. What is this guy here? Oh, we have a starting gift. Mastery level 10. Oh my gosh. Wait, these are... Mastery level 20 and 30? Okay, I'm going to go with... Maybe some extra gold at the start? So we can hopefully buy a nice weapon. What's this guy? Cinder. There's so much going on. I love this. Ranger class. Okay, so there's other classes in the game. Let's just let's just go. There's too much going on. All right, onto the run. We're in here. Okay, let's uh, let's get some strength to start off with. I mean, our starting weapon. Let's see what what do we have here with this character. We have a sl a side sword, which is E D and E on scaling. It's not great, but not horrible. Only two hundred max damage on combat start. Gain a minor infusion effect that cycles through repeating sequences. Okay, so it it's a cycle of things, and then you also have just twenty percent magic find. Okay, interesting. So we, okay, wait, so do, do we have a charm that does 40% magic find? Is that like already, like are these stats already affected? Or, ooh, we got luck here. I'm definitely gonna take intelligence early. I can't even remember what the spider build was. I think it was just a mix of everything. Yeah, I'm gonna take stats as much as I can here. Super early on. Also, because we're on le uh, level two or world tier two, there are new enemies. So things are gonna look different. I think the 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 the, the levels look different too. I'm gonna grab a key early here. We're, we already started with money, so I don't think it's really that important to get some gold. Yep, I'm gonna go dexterity, man. I'm I'm literally just gonna stack up as many stats as I can, and we can hopefully get a early level. I didn't switch my dash to shift. I probably would like to do that soon. We do have two flasks. I'm still gonna go stats. A well balanced um stat here is probably the way to go, especially with my side sword having scaling on all stats. On the tally of five primary attacks, your next primary attack deals guaranteed crit and triggers on your triggers your dash effects. Ooh, lethality is interesting. Grant no stats, but you can have two maximum companions. I did this last time. I think I'm going to go with the tally of five primary attacks. Not locked. Let's go for a little reward here. It's a mimic. Oh god. Okay. Grants 10 souls. That was lucky, apparently. Do I care? I, mm, I think I don't care. So I'm getting some sort of effect. I have fire right now, I think. At least one uncommon item. One charm. Charms are kind of hard to go come by. Uh... Okay, so this is a boss. I think this is what the boss means. Like this little thing right here. It's a boss fight. What do we have this time? We have a Minotaur. 
Was that a lucky hit? I think that was lucky hit. You know, I'm used to a much farther range, and I'm realizing how much range really matters. <laughs> it's like so hard to hit things when it's so close. Okay, this should be death here, though. Nice. Defeat all World 1 Floor 1 bosses. Okay. Nice. I thought I switched the tier. Am I not on the tier 2? What do we have here? We have a charm that grants 20% increased melee damage. Doom Slayer set. Close range critical hits grant you Berserk. And Berserk is an emotion buff that grants 20% more attack and movement speed. Okay. But also just naturally grants 60% increased damage dealt at close range. Okay. This is seeming to be like some sort of like melee build maybe today. Our damage is not that good right now, but this is just like, I think this gets us like 40% more damage. I don't know. I, I, the, uh, the damage didn't change, I don't think so. Not by much anyway. Floor two. Okay. I'll tune things. So, okay. I, re I realize now that attuning has to do with this attunement thing at the bottom. You have to wear it at a certain amount of time. A certain amount of rooms to attune it. So if you take it off, it has to be reattuned. I'm not doing curses. I'm sorry. I just avoid curses uh, in any game. They can really screw you over. This guy's just gonna burn. Okay. Let's go for a new weapon. Okay, short range. Nothing interesting going on. It's a very boring weapon. These are both mana weapons. Wait, they're all mana weapons? The scales on C with strength and intelligence, and I think my intelligences are both. Yeah, we got. Oh, you know what? We're we're Dex and intelligence. Oof. Okay, well, sure. Oh, we got another beam weapon. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Uh, we don't have. We have forty five dollars actually, but we have to spend a key to get in there. I'll do it. Consumable dynamite, like a bomb, but with more kaboom. Explosion damage, increased area radius. Demolition gloves. Is this like a demo guy? What is this guy? He's like a miner. Okay, so that's why everything's like explosion sort of stuff. I mean, if anything, I'm just gonna buy some bombs, I guess. And we'll go for intel again. Okay, so I can hit multiple things, I think. Bone enchanted. That just like the bones go around the room. I'm assuming. Tavern. Uh, I'll go for gold. Let's build, let's build up some economy here. Another key. Was that a secret room down there? I don't think it was. Now I've heard this game gets very hard on the further difficulties. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Okay, I don't think this is a secret. I think this is just like floor stuff. Oh, random blessing, please. Is this permanent? I can't remember if this is permanent or not. Okay, we're hitting 1,000 for crit, not bad. Last one floor, endeavor blessing that adds, what is 25% to not very effective multiplier? What? I guess that means like, I don't have a helmet. Is that like when your damage doesn't do very much, it does a little bit more, <laughs> I guess. Okay, we got a mole. Now, what is that stat on him? Am I doing something to him? Am I? Okay, this is a freeze. I'm, I'm freezing him because of the modifier. I think that's like a radiant effect. Solid couple crits. And sometimes I'm attacking faster for some reason. I can't figure that out yet. I'm. This game, I will say, this game is very, very complicated. Um, inflicts Chrono Shift. Chrono Shift is a debuff that reduces movement speed. Okay, so that's what that, that 10 times thing was. Well, we have an elemental thing. It is only 20%. This is a Meteor Helmet. Uh, one mana extra. I don't even see, like, like what is the point? When you get to this, like, what does this do? 
I'm assuming it does something when you're in the red, but I don't know what it is yet, and I don't really care. I'll grab the extra elemental just in prep for... Because, I'm once again, charms give me 20... Like, double the amount, so I think it's 40%. Unless those charms regularly give you... Uh, unless they regularly give you... 10%. I have no idea. Okay. Is it doing reduced damage? I don't really know. Maybe I'm hurting myself by attacking more often than I'm supposed to. This is lava enchanted. Let me see. Okay, I'm doing like 800s, and then what happens when I'm like in this? I think it is reduced damage. We level up again. Critical hits with melee and range attacks trigger the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. So that's like your ace slots. That's interesting. Repeat the attack on a tally of five attacks. This could be interesting if I like run with something else, but then keep like this beam weapon in my first slot. I'm going to try it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this and put this here. And then when I attack on five, on five tap, wait, why did it not? Oh, I hit one by accident. Oops. This is my unarmed attack. Okay. That's what unarmed attacks are. Okay. I see now. Okay. So let's go with this. I could try to get another magic weapon. You know what? It's locked. Oh, we have one key. Oh, there's the beam. Okay. This is interesting. It's on crits. So if we can get higher crits, we're like attacking twice with two weapons. So we could really powerfully get a second weapon uh, up up there. Firebomb Codex. It's a spell. Okay, it does fire damage and it's pretty strong. But what does this do? Two. Okay, not as... I don't know, because it's like hard to hit. But we could try it for a little bit. Does this count as a ranged weapon? I don't think so. Well, we'll find out. Let me crit first and see what happens. No, nope, didn't go off. So, oh, I just put the wrong weapon. Switch. Okay, so I do send like a firebomb now, which is kind of interesting. We're out of keys. Don't really have a choice. So right now I'm kind of like aiming in a direction rather than like at things. So I don't know if like this whole firebomb situation is really that good unless I start to aim directly at things where they are landing. But as you can see, I'm not even hitting things with the firebomb. So <laughs> I don't know. Things are just dying. I'll take the soul heart. We do have two bombs. We don't have any keys. So let's go this way. Oh, well, we got we got rid of our soul heart immediately. That's nice. In games like this, I like to go for survivability. I think that's like very important. Pull this up. Sea urchin orb. Rare offhand grants a sea urchin orbital. Okay. And it needs to be attuned for one. Orbital damage scales with each point of XP. Sure. Uh, we don't have any keys, but I want some intelligence, I think. Where's my orbital? What's up, man? Oh, you need to be attuned for a level. Okay. I need to switch this thing. But then also... Okay. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah, there's the beam. Okay. And we've attuned our... Sea urchin. Okay, I can see how this can be very useful. If we get higher crit chance, we're going to be doing that a lot. Nice little cake. A pair of gloves. Uh, we have a set item. I don't think we have any set items. Nope. We can always work towards one, but this mandrake is going to be uh, a piece of cake, I think. Man, I feel like our, our first run was crazy damage. Okay, he's kind of crazy. Do those slow you down or do they hurt you? Uh, 
Okay. Well, I do have a flask, right? So just... There we go. Okay, grants 30% increased damage dealt to enchanted enemies. I don't really care for that. I got a torch. Grants fire. This would have been good on the pyromancy class, but I don't... I, I don't know. This is... Wait. It just adds 120? 215? So is that the low end to high end? Why is the low end damage higher? You know what? This sea urchin does negligible damage. And I know that it does increase damage based on the... Uh, four times damage, which even that is only like a thousand where this is every attack and it has to hit something too. I'm never that close to enemies. Let's grab this guy and switch it. And now we just have natural fire damage. It's kind of nice. Okay. Cover. Let's attune everything. I don't know if that actually matters. Did I need to attune this? I didn't need to attune that. So, okay. Let's something. So now we're just naturally burning everything, I think. That is not bad. Rare weapons. Yes, please. Chilling Gemini daggers. Attacks per second 3.24. Attack range is short. It has chilling on it, so it does 40 to 60, but then it's also going to do... Wait, this, ha this weapon has a 100% chance for attacks to repeat? Isn't that kind of nuts? We can also go heavy into fire. And this has A scaling. This is B and B, but this is A and D? I mean, we are good on intelligence and dex. How, how, how's the range on this? Far. Oh man, ah! This attacks twice as fast too. This is basically like attacking twice. But do we have things with melee damage? Primary attacks, melee and range attacks. I think I, I think I switched to burning here. This just makes sense to me. So let's do this. We're also gonna be attacking more often, which means our beam should be attacking more often. Uh, plus one strength minus intelligence. No, thank you. Oh yeah, wait a second. This is kind of good. Am I able to stay further away too? What is this thing? What is that? What were those? Was I supposed to pick those up? Arcane Enchanted. Okay, wait, so that's like bad, I think. I don't think I want to go near those. Two bombs. We have three bombs. We can sell some stuff. Let's sell the sword, because it's not good. And let's sell the sea urchin. I don't think I'm going to be using it. Okay, I have a shop. We have eighty-nine dollars. This is a no-brainer. Nope. Rare boots on dash. Kick the nearest enemy. Okay, I saw this last ra last round for nineteen gold. I'm not really dashing that often. Let's go for upgrades here. Do I want to upgrade? I think I want to upgrade this. Now that seems really stupid. Maybe not. Okay, let's go with the weapon I'm actually using. What is this two H? By the way, is it two hours? What does that mean? Oh, it's two-handed. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, we upgrade. Let's let's upgrade again. Let's see how this thing does as like a max. The damage isn't crazy. I will say that. That does nothing for me, I think. Let's grab some more gold. The damage is not bad, but I feel like the damage we had last round was insane. I think that was more to do with our traits. Melee weapon? I don't care. Wait, what are these like rat? What are these like sewer things in the corner? I'm scared. Is he farting? What the heck was that noise? Easy fight. Dude, this game is just so entertaining. I don't know why. It's so fun. What a weird fight. He didn't use these, uh, I don't know if this is just like, for show. Like these little corners, but... He didn't use them. Maybe I didn't give him enough time. Grants 50% e 
Increased effect of debuffs. Now, debuffs are, I'm assuming, fire elemental damage, ailment. I don't know if they're the same thing. I don't think fire is the same thing as a debuff. Um, grants 50% increased effect of status effects applied by auras. And offhand heavy quiver. All damage from your bow and crossbow attacks is considered to be close range. I don't think I have anything like close range, but I do use a crossbow. But I think that this... Wait, I'm so dumb. <laughs> this is two-handed. Why have I just noticed this? Oh, it's so upsetting. Wait. How am I supposed to use the heavy quiver with a crossbow? Oh, because it's a two-handed crossbow? Well... I mean, I guess I'll take this for now, because it is a, a rare, so I can sell it for more later, but... I just realized my torch is not doing anything. I'm so dumb. You learn something new every time you play this. We have 40 souls? Let's gain some favor. Let's, uh, let's get a heart. Like I said, I like to, I like to work on survivability. It's really too bad our torch doesn't work. Go for decks. This should like, level us up for another trait. I'm pretty well versed in bullet hell games, so I feel like I'm in a good spot. Arcane Familiar grants an Arcane Familiar companion. Arcane Familiar attacks one time per second, dealing a... Eh, I just, I, I got bored. Enemies take increased damage equal to the reduction of their movement speed. Wait, aren't we reducing movement speed? Yeah. We are with this thing. This chrono shift or whatever. Do I want to use my one key for beef? It's a locked chest too. Uh, let's just go with this. But it is weird to go into strength now because our thing doesn't... Yeah, these crossbows do not scale on it at all. Well, this is perfect. So as I get Chrono Shift on these guys, they're going to take more damage. Which is really good for bosses. I don't want curses. Is this the bard that's making those music notes show up? Power Potion. Let's increase our damage later when we need it more. We can't get a intelligence, unfortunately, because we have no keys. So we're still missing a flask. We do have a... I think we, I think we need a key to open this. Yeah, we do. Unfortunate. Tavern. Okay. What is this? No. I don't want to reroll the visitors. Um... What's this guy? Illegal gun parts. This adds one evil. What? Refills flask. Okay, so the the this is perfect. Event. Where could it lead? I I I don't care to buy booze. Let's go for the event. Holy water grants holy water on consumption. Is a radiant infusion buff that grants twenty to fifteen twenty I mean fifty. Radiant damage in the last 10 rooms. Is that all this is? That's kind of boring. I don't care about offhands. Let's go for a new charm, maybe. The Jousting Champion. I'm assuming he's going to throw his big lance at me. Is this all he does? <laughs> what a stupid boss. I'm assuming he's going to do way more than, than just that. Or he's just going to move faster. What is happening? That was a strange boss. It was cool, but it was very strange. <laughs> Give me the souls. Thank you. 
Okay, we got a rare charm. One armor. Body armor. We have, um... Cycles through the repeating, like, sequence of, like, effects and fusions. I'm not really sure, like, that's that good. Where I can get 10% increased unarmed attack speed. Okay, wait. But that's stupid, because I'm not boxing. There's no way I'm doing that. Um... A charm that gives armor is not bad. I don't think I have any debuffs. Oh, wait. Increased effect. So I think that's inc adding more chrono shift. I'm not meleeing. So let's take this off. And let's take this. So wait a minute. Do I have two armor? Wait. That should give me two armor. Right? Doesn't my character, like... You gain double the stats from charms and weapon enchantments. Hello? Hello? Does it need to be enchanted, uh, attuned first? Maybe it'll be on the next, next, uh, next room. Let's see. Nope. I got scammed. Wait, the jellyfish are after me now. They're against me. Okay, that's a pretty good change. This should give me two hearts. What is going on? I... The magic find is pretty good. I don't know what debuffs I have. Are debuffs anything... I think that has to do with everything else. I'm not... I can either take the health or the, or the armor. It doesn't really matter. Unless this gives me two health. Please give me two health. I don't, I don't know. Oh, we go for dexterity here. Nope. I'm getting absolutely scammed. Very nice. Rare weapons. We always take rare weapons. Demon blade. On kill gain demon rage, which is a buff that grants 100% increased attack speed with the demon blade and lasts four seconds. A and A, but it's on strength. Uh, I just almost used a flash by accident. I only have five strength. Money gun. Uh, it seems kind of bad. I think it is bad. Burning slither wand. It's far. And this does a lot more damage and it's, it has fire damage. So what if I put this... But I have stuff that has to do with movement speed with this thing, right? But like this does a lot more damage. No, this does... Never mind. This is just worse, I think. Yeah, it's worse. I don't care about strength too much. Let's take it. I'm also reducing the speed of things, which is nice. I love the range of these crossbows. This is great. That explosion nearly blew up my PC, apparently. Yeah, let's, let's sell some stuff. Let us drop this guy. Let's, let's at least shoot it once so we see what we're doing here. What the slither wand? I'm assuming he's gonna send, send out snakes. I just, I just consume something by accident. Yeah, I consume something by accident. Oops. Uh. Yep, as expected. Okay. You know. Let's get rid of the slither wand here. Let's put this back in this slot. Let's sell the melee damage. Yeah, it's not very not very good. I'm going to keep this armor guy because I don't really know. This is going to sell for not much either. It's not really that good. He doesn't buy this, and I don't think he buys this either. Yeah, okay. This does bonus damage, right? Yeah, it does radiant damage. Okay. So I think I used the power, the, the power uh, potion by accident. Which is fine. I got hit. I'm so dumb. These uh, claw attacks are kind of weird to avoid. I do have a key. Secret room? We got the black market. Okay. Uh, um. Rail gun. A, A, and A. Holy. It costs 25. Very far. As a secondary attack, also does chain lightning. Wait, this is disgusting, no? This is like disgusting.
super illegal gun parts. I could buy this and this for the perfect amount of money I have. It's almost like it was intended. I think I need this. Let's take a look, though. Nope. Dispel some curse. Wait, like increased damage dealt to friends? <laughs> what is... I don't understand. Plus one evade. This costs souls, actually. I don't even have much room for charms, though. This costs souls as well. Protects you from getting cursed. I mean, hold on. Wait, this is kind of nice. I might just grab this. I got plus one evil, though. Uh, Let's buy that. And let's buy this. So this lets us... What does this do? Illegal gun parts. Where is that? Where is that? Where'd it go? Consumable upgrades a gun by one level up to level five. So we got to hold on to this, I think. Let's put this here. What is this gun? Want to buy a cigarette? No. I don't smoke. Okay. This seems interesting. Let's try this. I have no money. I have nothing. And it seems pretty good. I can't tell if it's better. I think it is. It also seems like the lightning is kind of homing. Lock chest. Let's get some keys. Let's get our, our economy back up. And our items. Resources. Yeah, the uh, lightning is also chaining. I don't think I have boots or a helmet. So... What would I prefer? Helmets are usually better. What's our equipment load at? Oh, we're at 20 to 70. Easy. Helmets are usually heavier, I think. Yeah, I would say this damage is pretty good. There he is. It took a, lo a long time to come back up. We fought this guy and we barely saw the ships last time, so we're, we're on a good pace. What do we have here? This adds one evil. Dude, I don't know what this evil thing is all about, but like, I'm kind of worried about it. Uh, Well, dang, man. Oh, it's an offhand. Dude, I don't know. Feels like, wait, lightning damage. Shock is a stackable lightning. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, that's fine. So this is just better. I think Thunder Mask is great. Let's run that. Okay. And this is lightning damage, right? Yep. Okay, so we just add increased lightning damage. Okay. We don't have enough souls, so we use some. I'll tune things just to be just to be safe. Let's uh let's build some more economy. Why is this guy so strong? So in my first run, I thought that you had to get out of that circle before the uh, exclamation mark went off. I realize now that it's a, a full-on warning. For what's coming. So it's that beam afterwards. I don't think we saw these enemies last time. Nice. Hoping for some sort of lightning. Ooh, oh. I mean, do I have to say more? <laughs> Refills fl one flask. You know what? I'll do that. So what is the maximum stack, stack of shock, though? Because it seems like we're killing enemies before we even get close to uh, the, the stack. Max? Okay. So even if I suck at aiming, the electricity will still work for me. That's the damage is going very well here.
multiple potions. Let's go for the health. Wait. How do I have four now? Did I always have... Oh, I always had four. I'm so dumb. I, I had three because I was missing one. Also, I just got hurt. You know what? I'll do it. Six intelligence. Does that give me 12 intelligence? Okay, this is where we have to find out if things are working or not. Okay, I have, I have 13. Let's pick this up. And let's look. It's... I don't think they're working. Unless this is already the double effect. I think it is the double effect, but that means I should get two hearts. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. We upgrade the railgun once. I think we wait. This does not do anything for us. I could have sworn I had armor at some point. Oh yeah, I had this guy. I mean, having one heart is basically the same. Now, why is my attunement say zero out of one heart? What's up with that? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. I think my railgun scales on everything, so I'm going to go with the strength. I guess I will use one flask. Maybe what I'll do is hope to find a tavern, and then I'll use my other flask and then just... Just kind of go with the flow here. I have too many ch I have too many charms. We could try to hopefully find the thunder ma uh, thunder grip gauntlets. Let's try for it. I really highly doubt it. No way. I'm in trouble. Do a phase two of this guy. Okay, that was a little actually pretty scary. We did use one of our flasks already. Plus 50 equip load capacity. We need warlord stuff though. Uh, plus one heart, life vest. The minor infusion is whatever, I feel like. So I think having an extra heart is just a good idea. Like I said, I like to stay... Wait, why did our helmet change now that we changed... Oh, this cloak completely covers us. That's why it's a full body thing. So now I have my helmet on. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not use the other flask yet. Actually, we can, because we're going to fully recover here, I think. Let's interact. Let's do fully recover. Or should I wait? I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to tune my items. I'm gonna wait. I've got three health. It's pretty healthy. And uh, we can go through a whole floor without dying, I think. And hopefully we find a tavern. This is new. What are these guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't have a, I don't have any stamina. No. Remember when I said I could go through a whole floor and not die? I'm a little less confident. I need to get rid of this guy really fast. Please go away. I'm not feeling great about my situation, but... Uh, do we get more money? We need more money. We need to be able to make sure we can purchase a... Uh... Oh my god. We need to make sure we can purchase the uh, the, the refresh on our... On our tavern. For our flasks. Uh... Or the dude in the top corner? Is this tornadoes? What is this thing? Oh, it's the it's the uh, Griffin. Okay. Oh man. Give me a level up. Let's calm down. <laughs> There's too much going on. Lightning always strikes twice. What? Whenever you trigger a damaging lightning effect, the effect is triggered an additional time. After a 0 0.5 second delay. Wait, this isn't this nuts? I have to trigger a lightning effect. Okay. I don't know if that actually, actually works the way that I wanted it to. I don't think it's, I don't think the lightning is striking twice. 
Unfortunate. Okay, I have one bomb. Let's do this. Let's upgrade my railgun. And then I can use the illegal gun parts, I think, right? Can I upgrade this again? I think he's going to say that it's fully... Already at max. Okay, so now... I use the illegal gun parts by pressing 4. And now the railgun is level 4. And we do much more damage. Okay, this is great. Um, Tavern! <gasps> it's a tavern! Okay. Yes, 10 gold. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. Okay. We have no money. What is this, a secret on here? Is there a black market under the tavern? <laughs> Why did I go down here? We don't have much money. There's another super illegal gun parts, but it's 51 gold. Cake? Oh, we don't have money. We don't have money. It's fine. Let's sell the crossbows. 28 gold for those. Okay, that's huge. I'll sell this. Oh, come on. Uh, we, we can sell a charm, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's sell the, the magic find. Well, we can unlock the gunslinger by doing this. Let's do that. Let's get the, the illegal gun parts. Let's get the uh, railgun to plus five. Oh, yeah. That's that's good stuff. Offhand. This, I need to find something that considers two-handed weapons to be one-handed. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Um, I feel like I do want to sell some stuff. Just get a little more cake going here. Let's see if there's anything that can cause two-handed to be one-handed. A uh, piggy bank companion. Pairs all armor points. I don't have any armor. Nope. I'm gonna hold off. False pistols. Disintegrator sounds kind of fun, but I like my build. I like what I'm doing here. Let's sell one more thing by selling this charm. I don't think I don't know if the debuffs are working the way that I want them to, but let's sell this one. I might regret that. Armor charm, goodbye. And let's get the cake. Okay, goodbye. Weird to have a black market under. Let's do the event under the uh, tavern here. What is this thing? Don't be afraid. Have you never encountered a talking dragon head before? I was once an, once an ancient silver dragon, a direct descendant of the mighty silver dragon Bah Bahama. I think it is. I don't remember how to say that. Okay. I have never sworn an oath. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Have you a weapon deserving of a dragon's breath? Ooh. Wait a minute. Icker breath? Arcane breath. Star breath. Necrotic breath. Uh, I don't think arcane is... Let's try arcane. I probably should have done the fire breath. Okay. Wait, plus... Isn't that, like, bad? Didn't that just make it worse? Is it stronger, though? Oh, it's much stronger! I don't see how it made it... Mana grants stats to your mana draining weapons. By default, each point of mana gains 20... Oh, gains 20% more damage. Wait, that's huge. Okay, that was really nice. That was a good choice. I don't have any keys! No! Wait. This is straight up from, like... <laughs> this is straight up from Dark Souls. That's straight up a Dark Souls boss. And, like how I deal with Dark Souls, I always kill the fat guy first. Actually, no, I don't. I don't. I, I leave the other guy first. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm shooting at, but I'm hitting him, I think. Not anymore. I'm not hitting him anymore. Okay, not bad. We're hitting like 5,000. This is great. Yeah, we're straight up a Dark Souls boss. I mean, not as difficult as a Dark Souls boss, obviously, but... What is this? 
surgical mask. Each point of intelligence additionally grants 2.5% effective debuffs inflicted by you. I don't know if this counts as a debuff. I don't know if ailments are the same. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Santa coat gift boxes contain additional booze. Okay. Sheriff. Gants. Gr Gants. What is wrong with me today? Grants 10% increased attack speed with guns and cannons. <laughs> Wait, this is accessory. But this is... Prevents me... Okay, whatever. Curses, whatever. Let's, let's go for... Let's go for this. I can feel the effect, I think. Nice. Two floors remaining. Let's gain some favor. Like I said, survivability is huge in this game, it seems, so... Lock chest, we have no keys. Deal with the worm early. And we're good. Some dexterity. I think that the mo most of my damage is coming from the lightning secondary attack. Also, I think in my first run, I never had a secondary attack, which is kind of nice to to see. Maybe we can increase our damage output by getting a better better weapon here. We can try. Nyan Cannon? Scroll Magic. Treasure Scroll. This weapon deals... 0.2% more damage per gold you have. It doesn't seem to do very much. This just sounds like it could be funny. So I feel like I should grab it. I don't know what else I expected. But that was pretty much exactly what I expected. Okay, we still don't have keys. Don't the blessing rooms not usually require a fight? Or am I crazy? Maybe they do. Mobility blessing. 25% increased stamina recovery speed. Dash length. Uh, the dash length might actually screw me. Still no keys. I seem, like I seem to be in a good spot. Fire damage, why not? Just add it. Three dexterity. Give me some broccoli. This might be one of my favorite roguelikes lately. I mean, Crab Champions is always near and dear to my heart, but there's something about this game. I need gold. Give me gold. I will say 3D games usually require a little more skill, at least for me. Let's get some boots. We don't have any. Why is he a mind flamer and not a mind flayer? I think this is the real one. Yeah, this is the real one. Okay. Oh, how did we avoid damage? Just focus on the real one. I think that that's all that matters. Maybe I should get rid of the extras. Because they're doing extra attacks. Is he where the thing starts? I think he is. I can't really tell, though. Okay. That's not a, that's not an easy boss. It wasn't too bad though. Golden boots. Peg leg. Grants 1% increased movement speed per gold. <laughs> that's interesting. On level up gain a soul heart. It's a little too late for that. We had 
Oh, uh, did we have missiles last time? Rocket gauntlets? We don't have any. Uh, go uh gloves. So I'll take that instead. Final floor. Now I'm gonna try and take the wind this time, whatever that means. I don't I don't know. Okay, let's just go for the intelligence. Ow. We've not found a single thing of dice this round. This will be our final trait. Oof. Oof. That guy is causing huge problems. This is why we got a lot of health, though. Oh, my. Oh, please. Alacrity. Thank you. Yes, yeah, great. Okay, we'll drink one. I'm not gonna drink full because sometimes you can get like something that can give you health. So. I'm trying to get rid of that guy because that guy just causes so many issues. My god. Pawn shop. Do we need to sell things? Not really. Let's just use our stamina surge. These guys are the worst. Oh my god, they just separate the room so awkwardly. Shop, we don't have much money. Let's let's invest. Please die. No. We have taken a lot of damage on this floor. We're at XP max. It's not like that matters, though, because we're kind of just going for stats. Sweet. Fully refills the hearts and flasks. Oh my god, please. Thank you. That's great. A good timing. Uh, actually, great timing. I'm gonna die. Jesus, man. Oh my god, perfect. This really doesn't do anything. So, let's just go for two bombs. I think I'm correct on that, because I don't think the scaling changes, so... One final rest here, huh? We don't have enough to do anything. I don't know if this does anything. Yeah, we're literally full because we just had that before this. Well, it's a tune for free. I don't know what this. What? Why? 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 Why do we get these? I'm gonna let the wind take me this time. You're no match for me, Death. I mean, honestly. I found some of the bosses. Like this room's a little bigger. I found some of the other bosses much harder. Last time I fought him. As you can see why, I'm just... He's just moving around. Wait, what did I get hit by? Am I blind? I do remember this phase being a little tough, but like I said, it's nothing crazy. I just walked into the laser for no reason. Okay, I actually almost died. I panicked. I hit, I hit my menu. <laughs> that was a lot worse to deal with than the last time, but that was because the spiders kind of destroyed everything in its path. Wait, we got a sheriff. High noon. On dash, your next attack with a gun or cannon is guaranteed to repeat. <gasps> Wait, what? I'm just going to grab that. I don't even care about anyth uh, anything else. So what's up with this uh, this whole take the wind thing? You feel watched. I 
I'm resisting. Okay, that that that's the wording changed that time. <laughs> Should I have said resist and then said no? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. I I don't know what's going on. I got I got I got kind of word played there a little bit. Well, either way, we mastered up a little couple times, so that should give us some points. There's a lot. What? The, there's so many masteries. Let's uh, let's do the additional armory. Let's go this way. Every weapon, every armory contains a weapon enchanted with a positive enchantment and one with a negative enchantment. Weapons and armories are never enchanted with a negative enchantment. I think I'd rather this. Just a net positive. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. We'll definitely have to, definitely have to check out some new classes. I think we unlocked a new one. The Gunslinger. Yes, we did. Lucky Draw. On Lucky Draw, your next attack is guaranteed to repeat. That seems pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'll we'll have to give that a go. Hope you guys enjoyed. This game is amazing. A lot of fun. Until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.